Hello and welcome back to Live Like You're Living. I want to talk to you guys today about the COVID vaccine. I've heard so many people very passionate about why they're going to take it or why they're not going to take it. What are your thoughts? I've been doing a lot of reading and research about what little we do know about COVID itself and now trying to find out what we know about the vaccine. Now, currently this is, oh, this is the week of December. Uh, I mean, the week of Christmas, December, 2020 that I'm recording this. So hopefully in the future, things will get panned out and things will be better. But as, as I stand here with you today, there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear, but the vaccine also offers a lot of hope. Now, what I have read so far is that the vaccine has not been tested on people with immunocompromised situations. If you've had um, compromised immune systems, sadly, research was not done on them yet. And this is based on articles that I've read by reputable sources. Please do your own research and come to your own uh, understanding about that. So if you do have an, uh, a compromised immune, um, take a peek at that and discuss the, vi the vaccine with your doctor. Um, I do understand that from that article is saying that in a little while, it would have the studies, it would have the research, and a vaccine will be prepared for those with compromised immune systems just not with the first round that's going out. That being said, how do you feel as an MGUS patient, as a multiple myeloma patient, as a cancer patient? Now, my sister who, um, if you look at, I have a couple of videos about her. Um, she is battling breast cancer. She's uh, stage four and she and I had a conversation and she told me that she plans on taking the vaccine. And she says, what does she have to lose? And I totally understand her point of view. Now I'm not here to try to persuade you one, one way or the other, but right now I would like to share with you that the vaccine did not get to my sister in time. She is currently in the emergency room. Well, she's been admitted into the hospital fighting COVID. Now, we're to be, I guess right now, the vaccine is slowly being distributed right now. This this is, like I said, the month of December 2020. And so it's been released, but it's only going to certain places, certain people, such and such. <sighs> but in the meantime, what are we doing about it? What are you doing about it? I have family and friends who are really avid vitamin takers and they believe in keeping the immune strong and so far for them it's been working just fine but I think by us not knowing so much about COVID it's more about chance I think I don't know because we haven't had any real scientific evidence of what specifically causes people to suffer worse or less because of it now, I have nothing against the vitamin takers. I mean, I agree. I, I agree about taking vitamins. I take vitamins all the time. But who's to say if that's a cure-all or not, or preventative? We don't know. It's still so new. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what are you thinking? What do you think about the vaccine? Do you feel safe taking it? In the meantime, I want you to keep on doing what I'm doing. And that's living like I'm living. Bye-bye.